Hello everyone and welcome back to Polynerdic Plays. I've got a couple hours to kill this this uh, afternoon, so to speak. I guess it is afternoon technically, or almost noon. Yeah, it's not quite afternoon yet, it's still late morning, I apologize. But um, I'm doing my laundry right now, I have a little bit of time to kill. thought I'd fire up a quick little live stream of Thimbleweed Park. I've had it sit here for a while, it's a game I've been meaning to play. I took a look at it a while ago to get a feel for it so we're gonna go to, with a new game here this is kind of an old-school adventure game uh, I haven't played many of these style of games but this was one that caught my interest and uh, like I said my laundry's in the dryer right now so I've only got about a half hour for this first installment before I gotta get it out of the dryer get it all hung up and situated at least that the, pit, the bits of it that need to be hung up and folded and then, uh, so we'll have a, a quick break in the middle after 30 minutes for that, but, uh, let's get into this and see where this game takes us. I know it's a silly comp comedic game, so. Mm. Let's do the, just a regular old adventure mode. I'm tempted to do the easy mode, but. Yeah, I know this is how these things work. The year my little brother was born. Population 80. Go figure them. It's been quiet all morning, and the moment I start a stream, we're not even two minutes into the stream, and a train's coming. I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. See the old controls here. Are you a victim of the inferior American social support system? Uh, I need some whiskey. Sober up, sir. I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. I have to go. Sleep well. It is my wallet, and it has 252 American dollars in it. It is the keycard for my room. It is a pillow bear prototype. Turn the bear inside out, and you get a pillow. Very top secret. Completed step three of the note. Now for step four. Over the sewer. 
I've already played this part, that's why I'm not wasting any time, but trying to figure it out. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes, sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Hmm. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. Whatever. There's no film in the camera. It's a sample package of... It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. Mm. Sometimes these old school adventure control stuff, adventure game control stuff, can be a pain in the ass. Smile. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. It's covered by the underbrush, but it's an old abandoned chainsaw. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. Chainsaw of disappointment. That old tree is blocking the great entrance. It sounds like someone in the sewer is playing the violin. I can't use it until I find some chainsaw gas. The, tra the trail ends here at this huge rock wall. Chainsaw of disappointment. I have to scroll down to click open and then come back up and hit gate. Is an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads the good parts? You. I hate 
coming down. That's gonna go drive me nuts. Flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Pretty good makeup though. Wait, 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 wait. Can we pick up the circus flyer? Signals are very strong tonight. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! But remember, signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Why brothers if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons. And he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You <laughs> feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. That playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. That seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design. It is. Self-aware adventure games. It just takes a little games. longer and requires more thought and planning. But it really pays off in the end. You almost ran over a federal agent. That's a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you too. Squeak! Boop! Click, 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 click! Whack! Wazz! Squeak! Click, 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 click! Where's my partner at? Wait for me. There we are. More like Thimble Stupid. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Thimbleweed Park. Nice name for a town. It's dark, but I can see there's nothing in there. I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> How long were you going to let that body There's rock a, in the There's an actual thing about pie. Now That's funny. The river is so chock Twin full peaks. of chemicals from the old pillow factory. It's better off there than in a tub of formaldehyde. I guess you're here about our little murder Reno out by the bridge. There is nothing little about murder, sir. 
Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? She would just automatically open the door. Howdy-who! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future, who? Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting <laughs> computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Aren't you the Sheriff Arino? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, no, no who. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas a who's in a pot a who. Plus, the sheriff has that annoying areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that a who. Sure, whatever. <laughs> did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. I don't even know what oh, fire we're talking about. They are who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now. Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. <laughs> Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Areno, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match a who. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> hey, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, who? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. These Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. I hate this town. Let's investigate <laughs> these Tron machines, then like go see lady. the sheriff and get out of here.
Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. You... I mean, the coroner said something about the Arrestron? Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction of Reno. Every detail of Reno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right. Uh, sorry, Reno. I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy of Reno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Reno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer a Reno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Who is this Chuck we keep hearing about? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Reno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. It's closed. No oh shit, it's jail. It's closed. Looks pretty official. Anything coming out of this can be used to arrest someone. Find that murder weapon. There's nothing up ahead but road. The town's in the other direction. It's an empty whiskey bottle. Trestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. Appears to be a small hole in the back of the head. Origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot, more like a puncture hmm. from a sharp object. Which is odd, because the opening title sequence clearly showed a gunshot with accompanying sound effect. <laughs> His suit looks tailored, possibly European in design. 
Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose. Okay, yeah, we got the pixelation joke. There's no wallet in his pockets, but we found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. That's the coroner's job. There's no books there. So they're both not being 100% honest here. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. What caused the leak? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. <laughs> so, what can I do for you, honey? What's up with this town? Most of the stores are abandoned. Used to be the center of culture in the Tri-County area. Parties every night at the hotel. Celebrities visit the Edmund Mansion mansion. It was hard to not make money in those days. Of course, it was before my time. And since the pillow factory burnt down, the town is drying up faster than Dave's sex drive. Ain't that right, Dave? What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weird Reno. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Cuckooville. The coroner and the sheriff are the same person. Well, there might be some resemblance around the eyes, but that's about <laughs> it. The sheriff does this annoying a Reno thing, and the coroner does an annoying a who. It pretty much proves they're not the same person. How does speech prove they're not the same person? You're asking a lot of questions that probably shouldn't be asked. I'm a federal agent. That's my job. I've said too much already. I'm a federal agent. Know anything <laughs> about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. We're the feds. You can trust us. What else do you know? Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. 
I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk. I'm gonna take a break right here so I can go uh, get my laundry out of the dryer and uh, quickly put it away and then we'll be right back with more.